Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Cardfight Vanguard Strongest Team AL4 Sneak Preview Booster Pack opening. Uh, another sneak preview is upon us, and it actually feels like it's been quite a while since the last one. I think just because we're so used to having um, so many sneak peeks one after another, and they actually pushed back the AL4 uh, Booster Pack uh, for sneak preview and release. But finally here, a lot of cool support in this new set. It's another main booster set with Pale Moon, Dark Irregular, Shadow Paladin, and Morakmo being the uh, main clans you can get from this set. With each sneak preview, you get the four packs uh, along with one of the promos, which this time around, it is Knight of Darkness, Rugos. If you have six or more units, this unit gets grade plus one and plus 3,000 and the intercept. Your guardians are included. So pretty awesome uh, promo for the Shadow Paladin fans for sure, giving Rugos the grade one uh, treatment there. And we have the eight entries to open for you all. And along with it, we have the uh, seven uh, booster packs for the prize packs, which will open at the end as well, just because I always like to see how the prize packs compared to the actual uh, sneak preview packs. And I always seem to pull the first one with like the triple rares and the Vanguard rares. So I'm going to swap them around just a little. I pulled them right out of the box. We'll see if that affects it at all. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just end up putting it right on top again. But let's go ahead and get started and see how we do. And also, um, just because of the camera, we have the Phantom Blaster Dragon. Uh, unit as our playmat this time around. Just like Maelstrom, it takes up the whole playmat. Looks really, really nice. If you guys want to see a full picture, I'll have it on all of uh, my social media sites for you all to see as well there, which the links will be down in the description. But enough talking. Let's go ahead, open these packs, and see how we do. So for the first booster pack, starting strong, we have the Terrifying Fist for Dark Irregulars, uh, Grade 3, Comicality Chimera, Stealth Dragon, Maggle, Mandala. Cursed Doctor, our first trigger from them all. We have Dynamite Juggler, the critical trigger for Pale Moon. And we have Blood Sacrifice, Ruthven for Dark Regulars. And our first pack, we actually have a triple rare, Gwyn the Ripper for Dark Regulars. Still keeping that triple rare grade 2 status with the uh, retire effect, so very, very cool there. So we didn't get a Vanguard rare, but we did get a triple from the first one. So it's scary, but let's see if that trend continues and have this first amazing entry, or if they did actually fix that problem or not. Not sure. We'll find out. We have Werewolf, Frey Williger, and I'll go through all the commons as much as I can until we start getting pretty much doubles, and I'll just skip through them. We have Fluster Cadet for Pale Moon, Stealth Dragon, Sokoku Zapper, another Cursed Doctor, and another Dynamite Juggler. And we have Succubus of Dedicated Love for Dark Irregulars. And nope, just a rare in this one. So we, I think we actually broke that trend finally. Nitro Juggler for Pale Moon as well. Which I think the main thing I'm building out of this is Shadows. I have a friend that's building uh, Dark Irregulars. And my girlfriend's building Pale Moon. And then the Morakamo I think is just free for all for whoever wants it. Major Destruction, Feldlick. We have Entertain Messenger. This is the starter for Pale Moon. Vermilion Gatekeeper, the starter for uh, Dark Irregulars. I think, I guess, they put the last two as triggers. Yep, it looks like that's what they do. They might have done that for the other packs. I don't remember. Poison Juggler and Rainbow Magician, both Pale Moon. And we have Stealth Fiend Hamper, Gapper, the Peripheric Guard for Morakamo. And March... Rabbit of Nightmare Land, the draw trigger perfect guard for Dark Irregular. So our foils are really Dark Irregular strong so far, which is pretty cool. Um, definitely does look interesting. The No Life King looks scary for a protect deck, just with that restand power as well. So something to definitely look out for there. And for this pack, Abyss Router, uh, Stealth Beast, Cat Devil, uh, Dark Metal Bicorn, Sky High Walker, Hoop Magician, and we have Werewolf Seeger for our rare. And entire monkey for our perfect guard for Pale Moon, the grade one perfect guard there. All right, pretty awesome start there. Like I said, I didn't really like it when we got the Vanguard rares right out of the way from the first entry, so kind of glad we didn't pull any off of the first one. But let's see how we do with the second booster pack. We have Fluster Cadet, Fiery Knight Loeg, Invest Falcon, Blitz Ridder. Or, sorry about that. 
uh, Hysteric Shirley. Uh, no effect this time, just a normal draw trigger there. And, oh, I think we skipped over the rare, but you guys saw the triple already. Dark Mage, Bad Car, uh, Bad Kabar. I'm sorry if I butcher these names. It's been so long since I actually read these cards. Uh, you know, they're old text, but pretty cool there. But the much more cooler one is Purple Trapezes, triple rare, which I do love the new artwork they have for her. Looks very, very nice compared to her old one. Pack number two from this one. We're on the second entry so far. We have Maggle Mandala, Amatsu Snipe, Werebear, Werefolger, Stealth Veen Yukihime, uh, Werelux Gif Reader. I don't think this has been a trigger before for Darker Regulars, but we have Stealth Beast, Bloody Mist for our Grade 2 Rare, and Prisoner Beast, uh, original 8K Vanilla for Darker Regulars, now with an effect 8K for Standard. Pack moving right along. No Shadow Paladin cards yet. I hope they're not short print. I don't think they would short print one clan like that. Doesn't seem too fair. Uh, Angus, Shijimaru, Entertain Messenger, Blitz Ritter, Hysteric Shirley, and I'm not going to reveal it that quickly. We have Magical Box Streamer for Pale Moon, and Stealth Beast Leaves Mirage, the draw trigger perfect guard for Murakamo from that pack. Very cool. Last pack from this entry. And we have Werebear again, Dark Metal Bicorn, Stealth Rogue of Silence, Shiji Mamaru, Stealth Dragon Zanha Rider, Stealth Beast Cat Rouge, and Magical Box Streamer for our rare again. And we have finally a Shadow Paladin uh, unit, Darkness Maiden Maka. I really am happy that we saw her again. Her and Skull Witch Nemain, uh being triple rares. Very nostalgic from the old uh, BTO4 uh, booster pack. Glad to see it happen again, which I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but this is the fourth booster pack that is released in Standard. I wonder if they thought the same thing when, you know... Since BTO4 was, you know, the fourth booster pack of the main booster sets, but this is only the second main booster that we have released so far. I'm already kind of skipping through them. I think I'll only mention them if they look kind of new, like Candy Clown is new, but we have Rider Rester in this one. And Jumping Jill is the double rare for this pack, which is uh, very cool that they brought this one back as well. I like the art on this one a lot more. I'm liking a lot more of these arts from the new standard. It's like they perfected the unit with the arts from these packs for sure. From this one. Dancing Knife Dancer, uh, Turbulent Edge, another Candy Clown, another Moon Edge, and we've got Prisoner Beast, rare from this one, and we've got Nightmare Doll Alice, triple rare from this booster pack. I do like the art for the Alice as well. She is an Excel. I think she's back up to Golden Beast Tamer, so just remember that, but uh, very nice backup for sure, giving us that anime card uh, to use in this set. So plenty of support we've been pulling for Dark Irregulars and Pale Moon, that's for sure. But one triple rare for Shadow so far, but we got these uh, Bad Hab Car, Bad Hab Car, there we go. I just can't say it quickly, my brain isn't racking it up right off the top of my head. Uh, and another and a Ruthen for our rare. Last one from the third entry. Fox Tamer Izuna. It seems like a newer trigger that they made for a front trigger. A Head Panther. And we have Midnight Bunny, our first one of this rare. And we have Dark Shield Maclear. So the draw trigger for, um, well, oh my god. It's right there. Uh, Shadow Paladin. I think I'm not thinking clearly, obviously. It's been a long day of work. I just wanted to open packs, but it'll all catch up with me after the video. And I can look at all that I've pulled after this one. I think I'll clear up some of the garbage that's piling up. Rainbow Magician. And we've got Midnight Bunny and Black Sage Sharon for our triple rare. So another Shadow Paladin unit there. Uh, triple rare pattern definitely does justice to this car. It looks very, very nice. Definitely puts Marin to shame being only a double rare. And a lot of the Shadow Pound support is just to, you know, helps assist with Phantom Blaster Dragon and the Dark Dictator. So lots of grade ones and twos as triples in this pack. And we've got another Cursed Doctor. We have Stealth Fiend, Hamper, Gapper, and Werewolf Sager for our rare. 
So no Vanguard rares yet. I hope they at least bump the ratio up because I remember from the Q4 booster pack, you only got one Vanguard rare. I think they upped it with the next two, but I hope they did the same with this. Uh, they didn't quite disappoint, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Entire Monkey. And we have Covert Demonic Dragon Mandala Lord for our double rare back of grade three for the Morocco deck. Still getting plenty of hollows though, which is nice. One from this pack. Seductive Smile. I'm sure I pulled it, just didn't notice it until now. We have Rainbow Magician. And did we get a trigger from that one? No, I guess you don't get two triggers in each one. Maybe it was just my imagination that it was a pattern. Rite Arrester as our rare. And another Dark Mage from that one. Let's clear out some of the garbage since we're kind of halfway through uh, those entries. And moving right along. see how we do for the remaining four. And don't forget, we also have the prize packs to open. Cursed Doctor again, Dynamite Juggler. We have Stealth Beast, Million Rat, and Ghoulish Death Spoiler for our rare grade three protect unit for Dark Irregulars. Oh my god, the packs were like really heavy strong on those. Let's see. Invest Falcon again. Another Poison Juggler. I guess there's Poison Juggler and Nitro Juggler. I guess I just missed it. Rainbow Magician. And we've got Cursed Lancer and Doreen the Thruster for our double rare from this one. They, she was originally a triple rare. I guess they just downgraded her um, just because they had more triple rare worthy cards, I'm guessing, like Gwyn the Ripper for uh, Dark Regulars. This one, Vermilion Gatekeeper, Stealthy and Yukihime again, Where Lux Gift Writer, and we have another entire monkey, and I'll write a rester. I don't know how many of each I've pulled of those two so far. I know you need a good amount of them because they work very, very well with the Zombaku deck with that whole lockdown. And a lot of people are excited for it. I think it's going to be a budget deck, but a very good one for sure. There's Sky High Walker and Hoot Magician again. And we have Starting Presenter as our rare and Left Arrester in this pack. So they're catching up with each other. I think when I do my box openings, I might just, you know, compare and see if we get an equal amount of right and left arresters with all the packs I open. It'd be fun to see. Or if one beats out the other. We have Blood Sacrifice uh, Ruthven again. And we have Demon Eater, so the double rare. Back up for Dark Irregular. It's very cool that they made a rare from set one of the original Vanguard into the double rare backup for the No Life King. Pretty awesome there. I think she was used in the manga, though, if I remember correctly. But still no Vanguard rares. I mean, I'm kind of feeling like they might have done that now, but I guess we just gotta wait and see. Midnight Bunny and Stealth Beast Bloody Mist for our rares. Two packs remaining. That, it literally looked like that whole pack was just ugly units. No pretty ones there. We have Prisoner Beast, and I guess it kind of makes up with it with pulling Hades Hypnotist. It's not an ugly unit for sure. Just a graceful, beautiful, uh, perfect guard there. And one pack left, and we have the two entries and the uh, prize packs. We'll see if they all fall in those packs or not. Getting worried. You know, I regret saying I kind of wanted to pull them from the beginning now. Magical Box Streamer and Stealth Beast Million Rat for our rares in that one. So we got a couple packs wearing down now. And from this one, we've got Succubus of Dedicated Love and Artillery Man, the backup double rare for Pale Moon. So I don't think I pulled any of this perfect guard for Darker. Oh, no, actually, no, I think it was from the first booster pack. Completely forgetting already but let's see we've got nitro juggler and stealth fiend hamper gapper and from this one we've got stealth beast million rat 
And we've got our first Vanguard Rare. Let's hope it's not our only one. Dueling Dragon Zambaku. So this is the Murakamo one. This is the lockdown by having right arrestor and left arrestor on the uh, field. Your opponent cannot ride a grade three. And then using the left arrestor and the right arrestor effects, you can prevent them from standing as well. So a pretty awesome lockdown for sure. Basically it took over the role of Mega Colony for standard. Last pack from this entry. Let's see what we get. We've got Werewolf Siger and Blaster Dagger. I actually forgot that this was a card in here. Left definitely looks a lot cooler in this art than it did for the one we got in the original uh, format, for sure. So we got two entries left. Let's see how we ended. Did I save the best sneak entry for last? We'll find out. Two triggers there. We have Ghoulish Despoiler. And Blaster Rapier, so this is the, or Rapier, there we go, better way to say it. Another double rare for Shadow Paladin. So I guess they do have a couple double rares as well, including the Perfect Guard, just for the support for the deck. It looks like you won't be using too, too much from the actual trial deck for it. Maybe just the triggers and a couple other cards at most. Let's see here, we've got Bloody Mists again. And, oh, there's another triple rare, Swift Archer Fushimi for Murakamo. Very nice. Kind of looks similar to the old art, but I do like this one. And I thought we were on the last pack. Two more. Let's see. We've got Cursed Lancer for Shadow Paladin. And another starting presenter. And last pack before the prize packs. It'll all be in the prize packs. Here's hoping. We've got Left Arrester and Twin Swordsman Musashi. So I think we pulled a good amount of the triples and the double rares. At least maybe one of each of all of those for sure. But let's clear out some of the wrappers here. And then we'll move on to the seven prize packs. Let's see what the prize packs would have been. Anything worthwhile for people is what we're hoping. For this one, we've got Starting Presenter and another Blaster Dagger, double rare. And from this one, we've got Left Arrester and Skull Witch Nemain, triple rare. So I know we didn't pull any of her from the booster pack, so good to see her there. But it's actually looking like you're only gonna get one Vanguard rare for sneaks for these ones. That's definitely strange how they you know, didn't change it to be like the extra boosters, if that's the case. Let's see. We have Nitro Juggler as our rare. And, oh, nice, I'll take it. That's an origin rare, so um, good way to change that up there. Swift Archer Fushimi. So we got the origin rare for Murakamo from this one. It definitely does look nice. I was talking about that uh, old art <laughs> in a sense there. Let's grab it. It's a recent card, so let's pull it out and just compare the two. You can see there how the art does look similar, both taking aim uh, at the user, but two different angles, and like I said, they both do look very, very nice together. So at least we pulled an origin rare. Completely forgot that that could have been the case there. So at least if you have like a guaranteed origin rare or secret vanguard rare, that at least I think would make up for that. But let's see how we finish off these packs. Bloody Mist and Prisoner Beast. And we've got another Hoop Magician, Candy Clown, Magical Box Tremor, and Stealth Beast Million Rat for our rare. Let's see if we can at least get one more foil. That's what we'll go for. Ghoulish Death Spoiler. And another Doreen the Thruster. Maybe I should have said triple rare, but Doreen's still cool. And last pack. Let's see what we get. We've got Cursed Lancer. And another Artillery Man. So a good amount of hollows were in the prize packs, which is cool. But I guess they did decide to stick with the one Vanguard rare per kit like they did with the original uh, Q4 booster. I guess just with the extra boosters or the, you know, 
uh, those ones. You have the multiple ones, maybe because it's a smaller set, so you get more of a variety. But either way, uh, definitely look forward to getting my boxes as well. It was an awesome opening. Uh, plenty of hollows, definitely a lot of rares. Excited for this set as well, just to see uh, how far we can get with the Shadow Paladin deck. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Qualia out.